Hey everybody, it's Jason Spangler, Flooring Division Manager here at Wagner Muters. And you know, we spend a ton of time talking about the, the Rapid RHL 6 sensors and how good they are and having a NIST traceable certificate of calibration with each one so that you can prove documentation of accuracy of the devices. And we came out with the Data Master to help with data integrity to move away from hand writing your reports or your results to integrating them with a, with a, a smart device app. Uh, the internal data storage now that's available in the sensor that makes it uh, really easy to store the information and retrieve it all in one lump sum if that's what you choose to do. But the one thing we don't spend enough time about or talking about is the entire system that we've really tried to think of a lot of different things to tie up the circle of responsibility and make it much easier for the people that are using the product to use it appropriately and to be able to cover themselves as well as possible. The one piece we don't spend or don't focus on enough in that entire system is the metal disc. And so when you look at the metal disc, the metal disc is really intended to be used. You know, you go through, you install the sensor, you get your readings, you finally figure out which way you're going to go. It's dry enough to install. Or you need a better adhesive or better, you know, or a moisture mitigation system. Now you're ready to do your final floor prep before you finally uh, install the floor. Well, it's intended that you use this metal disc and you put it inside of the rapid RH sensor and you skim coat it into the floor. The whole point of that, part of your documentation process, whether you're doing it by hand or whether you're using the Data Master app, is that you should be identifying in some logical way the location of these sensors so that as part of your documentation, you can help people understand where they were placed in case there's ever a question. So if we look at it and we just illustrate it and push it out to the what I call the nth degree, if there ever is an issue with a floor that you've installed, you've gone through, you've done all your moisture testing, you have the results to prove to somebody, you have, you know, an X marks the spot as far as where they were, things along those lines. You submit that information to whoever's requesting it. First thing they do is they look at you and they say, that's great, but how do I know that you didn't just make that whole documentation up sitting at the kitchen table this morning? I'm glad you asked, because now you can take that piece of paper that has an X marks the spot somewhere in there, and you can actually go and identify with a very inexpensive metal detector, you can go identify and find this sensor. And so now not only have you taken the piece of paper and shown it to somebody as far as location, but now you've taken those results and tied them to where the sensor is located on the floor. So you've tied the floor in question to the piece of paper that you have from a documentation standpoint. So when you look at that, it really is trying to just help you feel more confident that if it ever comes to it, that you can really try to tie all that stuff together to defend yourself the best you can. As with anything, Please, if you have any questions, reach out to me. My email address is jspangler at wagnermeters.com. And I really want to thank you guys for watching these videos and a lot of the comments that I get. I really do appreciate it. But while you're here, why don't you check out the other videos and click subscribe.